Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, this is Ms. Linda. We're, uh, today, inshallah, we're going to solve a question uh, from 2020 past uh, papers on topic two, circular motion. Now, before we uh, solve the question, let's just revise all the formulas we've studied in topic uh, six, circular motion. We studied the velocity. Velocity is distance over time. Distance, the circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi. R divided by time is the period, T. We studied the angular speed, omega. Angular speed, omega. It's the angular distance divided by time. Angular distance, if we complete full circle, is 2 pi divided by the period, and the, the unit for this one is radian per second. Here the unit is meter per second. Frequency and period the opposite to each other. Frequency, it's one over the period. The unit is uh, one over second or hertz. So from this formula, I can write the angular speed is two pi times the frequency. Velocity, I can write it, the tangential speed in terms of the angular velocity, which equals to the angular speed times r distance. Uh, centripetal acceleration, acceleration toward the center. I have two acceleration, one toward the center and one tangential to the motion. So this is tangential acceleration and this one toward the center of the motion and this will equal omega times the velocity, or I can write it as v square over r, or omega square times r. Centripetal force or force toward the center, mass times centripetal acceleration, and that equals to m v square over r, or m, omega square times r work done by this centripetal force is equal to zero because the angle between uh, the motion uh, the force and the motion is 90 degrees sine 90 is zero also we studied in this topic we studied in topic uh, six uh, newton's uh, law of gravitation which is force equals uh, G in Newton's constant of universal gravitation times capital mass, small mass, divided by R square. R square is the distance between the center of mass. If I have capital mass like Earth, like Earth and Moon, so this is our distance between, between them. This is a Newton's law of gravitation. We studied as well Kepler's law. Kepler's law. Kepler's law, we have three laws of Kepler's. We'll focus on the third law, which is the period, the orbital period of any planet directly proportional with the average distance of the planet from the sun. Average cube distance, R cube. This I can write it as <clears throat> T square divided by R cube equal constant or T1 square divided by R, uh, R cube, R1 cube will equal T2 uh, square divided by R2 cube, if, if I can compare between two planets, for example. And this constant, it turns out to be, if I can, I can write it as T square equal this constant, which is four pi square divided by G times the mass of the planet, times r cube, if I do cross multiplication. So this constant is this one, I'm, I'm not going to drive it uh, now here, just check the knot, we drive all of these in the knot. Now, this question that they had in 2020 um, uh, exams, we actually solve similar to this question in the knot. If you revise, if you go back and revise the knot, we studied example of amusement park and similar question exactly. If you check, 
your um, your textbook uh, person textbook you will find similar question to it in the textbook also we did it in the we did it in the class so this question is in page 138 from your textbook uh, uh, Christ second we have here second edition for your, your textbook person 2014 let's read the question first so we have uh, the rotor is an amusement park ride that can be modeled as vertical cylinder. It has an inner, inner radius R and rotates about its axis and there is people inside. It's exactly like when you go to the amusement park and this one is rotating. You see the people here, they're holding uh, against the ball. So the people are inside uh, a drum that is rotate about uh, vertical axis and when the rotation speed is large enough the people are forced to the side the size of the drum the floor will drop okay away and the people are the people don't worry the people are quite safe however uh, they are held against uh, the inside of uh, the wall of the drum so what are the forces that that are acting on these people. I have here, uh, of course, we have the reaction force of the wall or the normal force. This is the force responsible for the centripetal uh, acceleration. And I have their weight down and we have a reaction force if, if they are going to slide down opposite to the direction of their motion i have the friction will be uh, up so the friction between the riders and the wall will prevent them from slipping down the wall so first question first part of the question he wants me to he wants us to drive all the forces acting on the rider so here we go to the center of the rider i have his weight down or the gravity fg or weight and the, if he's going to slide down the friction this is i'm going to call it small f this is the friction up and the one that is responsible for the uh, centripetal uh, force here it's the reactant force or the normal force the or the normal force fn okay uh, part B of the question, uh, the person must not slide down the wall. Must not slide down the wall. Show that the minimum angular velocity, so this is the minimum angular velocity of the cylinder equals square root G mu times R. Mu is the coefficient of static friction between the person and the cylinder. G is a free fall acceleration, 9.81, and R is uh, the radius, the radius of this cylinder. Now, we're going to write all the equation that we know. I know the forces that is responsible for the centripetal force is the normal force. So FC will equal FN. And I know the friction, how can I calculate the friction is the coefficient of static or kinetic friction, in our case, I have static friction, the person they're held against the wall, they're not moving, times the normal force, Fn. And from here, I have normal force, I have the uh, weight of the person equals to the friction force, they're opposite to each other and they're equal, so the person doesn't, doesn't slide down so i know also the friction force equals fg and fg it's mass times free fall acceleration so from here from here the friction force will equal so friction force from here i can substitute here friction force is the same as the gravity or the weight so mass times free fall acceleration will equal mu times Fn. Fn is the same as the centripetal force. Centripetal force is mass times centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration, it's omega 
square times the radius. Remember, centripetal acceleration, Fc, it's going to always read it, write it down here. F, I'm going to write it here. Fc, it's mass times centripetal acceleration, and this will equal m omega square times the radius r. m and m, they cancel out. I need a formula in terms of omega, so I can divide both sides by mu r, mu r. So I will get omega square will equal g divided by mu r. Take a square, uh, take a square root for both sides, you should get this formula. Okay, C. The coefficient of static friction between the person and the cylinder, so this is a mu s is 0.4, the radius of the cylinder, this is r, 3.5, the cylinder makes the number of rotation 28 revolution per minute, so time is 60 seconds, so I have a period of time, one minute, one minute means 60 second. Okay, deduce whether the person slide down the inner surface of the cylinder. I can solve this equation with two method. First method, if the actual friction, if the actual friction greater than the minimum friction, F, the actual friction greater than the minimum friction, then the person will not slide down. How going to calculate the minimum friction first? Minimum friction, remember, friction force is the same as the gravity, the opposite to each other and the equal, so the person doesn't slide. And the force of the gravity or the weight is mass times free fall acceleration. So if minimum, F minimum will equal Fg and that equal mass times gravity, which is 9.81. And this will give me 9.81 M. M, I, I don't know M, it doesn't give it to me, so I'll keep it as it is in Newton, in Newton. Actual friction, so F is small f, actual, it's a mu times in the normal force, F times normal force. And we said the normal force is the same it's the force that is responsible for the centripetal acceleration. So a mu times the normal force and a mu times the centripetal force. Centripetal force, it's a mu times centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration, it's m, in centripetal force mass times centripetal acceleration. And this will equal a mu mass omega square times r. So we can substitute. Uh, I'm going to continue here. So mu, mu is 0 0.4. M keep it as it is. I don't have it. Now omega, omega, it's 2 pi times t, but I have 28 revolutions. So mu, if, if I use this formula, for uh, omega, omega, it's 2 pi times the number of revolution divided by the period t. So it will be 2 pi. I have 28 and the period is 60. Always um, check the units. The units has to be consistent. All the units, SI units. So all, all of everything should be in SI units. Times R, R is 3.5. And this will give us 12 M in Newton. What do you notice? If actual is greater than F minimum. I have here a 12. This is F. Actual is a 12, and F minimum here 
is 9.8, so the person doesn't slide. The person doesn't slide. Now, the other way to solve this question by calculating the, uh, me, the uh, angular speed. If the actual angular speed greater than the minimum, the person will not slide. So let's calculate first the actual speed, the actual um, uh, angular velocity. 2 pi n times uh, divided by t, so it will be 2 pi. n is a 28, t is 60, and this will give me 2.9 radian per second. And omega minimum, omega minimum from the question, from the question, he gave, he told me here the minimum angular speed is a square root G divided by mu times R. So square root G divided by mu times R and just substitute 9.81 divided by mu is 0.4. Radius is a 3.5 and this will give us 2.6 radian per second. So omega actual greater than omega minimum. And that means the person will not slide, doesn't slide. That's it. We'll continue with the 2020, 2021 um, topic uh, six and next.